So whether you're a small business owner looking to save some time, a marketer aiming to streamline your campaigns or anyone in between, make.com has the tools you need, the tools you need to automate your tasks and simplify your workflow. Stay tuned as we explore exactly how to set up your first automation and take your productivity to the next level. So here on make.com, the here's that's the, the dashboard, the panel here, we have options here for scenarios, templates, but I'm going to get into details later on. But right now, I'll just show you how to sign up. So this app is really powerful. So if you really want to get access to a really this incredible tool, you can and you also be able to support my YouTube channel. You can sign up through my affiliate link. I'll leave the affiliate link in the description of this video. So this is the website and this is the preview of the website. Now, what you need to do is just to click on get started. Or if you want to support the channel, you can use my affiliate link in the description of this video. And this will direct you to this. And now here you can enter your name, email and password. And this will lead you to the panel. So I'll just log in. Already I have an account. So let me guide you through this uh, website. So first here we have organization. Here we can see team wizards, subscription, payment, installation app, variables and scenario properties. But where we're going to work the most is here in scenarios because we can start creating our first scenario. Also here we have templates. So it's good to look at here and see if you want to get used to just to see the, the potential of this app, what it can do. It can automate uh, from blog, automate posting from blog to social media with ChatGTP. It can really, 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 you know, save a lot of time because you're just automating a lot of the tasks. You can automate even one task that could have taken you hours can really now only take a couple of minutes in this video we'll explore how to automate twitter retweets based on keywords so this is a great way to stay engaged with your audience by automatically sharing tweets that mention your your business or interests so imagine your coffee shop you can automatically find people talking about coffee and retweet them spreading the word about your delicious brews so this also works for for events like art exhibitions by helping you reach more art enthusiasts even tech startups can use it to share industry news and connect with important people in their field by sharing um, by really saving you time and targeting the right audience. And this strategy can really build some brand awareness, boost engagement and make you a leader in, uh, in your space. Here we're going to have to click on create a connection, as I said, and I'm going to click on online help here. I thought actually to show you the process because it's like it takes a little bit of uh, it's just like we have a very you know detailed explanation here and make they're giving us a lot of details here what you need to do but i thought to show you a visual a video a tutorial or something visual instead of this text here so just head over to the x developer website and then here you're gonna have to click on developer portal and then what you're going to need to do here is to click on this and then click on edit here and then here just check here read and write direct messages web app automated app or bot and then here just need to grab your info and here we're gonna have to we can see here steps for call back url redirect url we have 
this i'm gonna have to copy this one and then add another one and i'm gonna have to copy this one as well so let's copy command c command v then for website url i'm gonna copy the other one as well now let's just save this and now once we saved this we can see here to save and then confirm it and then you can copy the id and client secret values and store them in a safe place so here they're asking you for the uh, client id and client secret values and store them in a safe place so here if we click on keys and token here we'll be able to find the client id and client secret so we're gonna have to enter that on uh, make.com we're just gonna have to paste the client id and the client secret okay so here of course we have connected make sure you authenticate your tiktok account and grant necessary permissions and then what we're gonna have to do here is to configure the trigger to watch for tweets containing like specific keywords or hashtags related to your business so we're gonna have to set up the action so here we're gonna have to add another module and from here now, now something very nice there they just integrated uh, added on make.com is this option right over here sorry one second i'm gonna move the webcam located right over here we have um, ai so instead of using right now you can also use ChatGTV to help you to guide you through the entire process to create a, a scenario to create a automation ba automation basically you can use this instead of other ais where you can you know just um, through tri trial and error you can learn this but this could help you build your scenario from scratch as you can see if you're not a coder this will guide you let's say you want to create something ask anything about make you'll just ask a question here about uh, create mapping uh, arrow helper so yeah that's pretty cool and i just wanted to mention point this out because this can really now you have an idea to create an automation and you'll build just you'll be just ask a question here instead of searching on Google, you know. So this can really help you. Now if you close this, now we also here we have tools. We have flow control. So with flow control, you can um, you can really really allows you to make decisions and take different actions based on uh, based on based on specific conditions within your workflow because um, because we have here we have action feeders aggregators and routers and for instance routers this uh, these modules direct the flow of the data based on predefined conditions you can set you can set criteria like uh, success failure of uh, previous module or the content of the data itself and uh, we can uh, click on this router and then we have two here right and i'll explain also these icons what what they mean and what they do but for now I'll just delete this one and we can look for more uh, here in flow control right so we also have uh, action or a repeater and so here i can uh, if i want for with using the repeater i can uh, loop something in my automation you can like have a repetitive task that you want your twitter bot to do like automatically li uh, liking every other tweet containing a specific hashtag the repeater lets you loop through that task multiple time and i think it should work i haven't tried this to be quite honest but it, it should work i don't think there should be any problems so you can like define how many times the loop runs in uh, in this field and it will do the work now we also have feeders here 
So it's, we can see here we have underneath, under the feeders, we have iterator. And from, um, I haven't tested this one, but from what I've read and watched like videos, I understood that this is actually, if is often used as a feeder, now, what about uh, aggregators? We have aggregators here and array aggregators. So, with this one, with uh, this one, well, what it does, right? With this one, you can um, you can like or reorganize data or combine. Let's say in our in our Twitter example, or within our Twitter workflow so you can imagine like you have a group project group and where everyone has uh, nodes a regular aggregator acts like a, a team leader combining everyone nodes into one big document uh, and this is very useful if you have uh, feeders grabbing tweets from multiple sources like as we said in our example with like hashtags and keywords and want to combine them all together for further processing, right? And array aggregator is um, now, what about the routers? Now I haven't used them that much, but you can imagine a traffic as a kind of like a traffic controller for your Twitter bot data and this router receives tweets from feeders or previous modules and decides which one uh, each or which tweet kind of like should enter based on your set rules right so you can define these rules based on various tweet properties uh, content you know hashtags and now what about detectives R right these are helpful because and what are detectives now Detectives, uh, detectives here, as I said, because they play such a big role when it comes to instructions, commands that control how a workflow works or not proceeds. You know, they detect the, the uh, dictate the actions and to really be taken on uh, based on specific conditions or triggers. Because with this, you can really, you can really control the the flow and logic of your automation uh, or of your automations, right? So let's say you use break and with this, um, actually, let me give you an example, better way to understand. So if you have a loop iterating over a list of items and um, you want to stop the loop if a certain condition is met, then, um, you can use the break directive to exit the loop. And uh, it's just like used to, is used to exit the loop or stop the execution of a, of an action with the current iteration of uh, the scenario. Now, what about commit? Well, with this one, um, it's just like refers to directives um, for change and action that have been performed to the point. Mm, I, I can't think of an example right now, but it's just like um, a directive that uh, finalizes the an action. And uh, ignore is more about uh, is directly used to bypass certain errors or conditions that might otherwise stop the execution of the scenario. And um, now an example for this one, let's say uh, if an API request fails, but you can, but you want this scenario to continue with the next, um, with the next step, regardless, you can use the ignore directive to skip over the arrow and proceed. And resume, also resume is directive, uh, this directive really, really restarts the execution of a scenario from a pause state. What about rollball? Rollback is a directive uh, refers the reverts the scenario 
to a previous state. I can't think of an example, maybe with a series of fails. Anyways, it's just that directives. Now we also have here and now I'll just uh, remove this one, this module and this module in the next part of this uh, video. Now we're gonna click on add another module here. We can also right click and select add a module and I'm gonna select here Twitter of course and here we have search tweets. So we're gonna have to select search tweets and then we're gonna have to configure this uh, this one here now here we have search phrases now there's a lot of things that we can use here we have uh, general functions we have math functions we have text and binary functions date and time now what we can all explain later on but now we're gonna have to add here uh, this uh, we're gonna have to let's say I want to look for phrases about uh, this website make.com automation or inter inter chromat or tutorial or make.com or whatever I want so I can pretty much here enter I'll write this dot com automation let's say I want uh, the bot to look for this or and I'll enter this operator here or enter grow mods tutorial okay or for this hashtag now okay now we just close Okay, what automation I would use, what I've used in the past is related to YouTube. And I'm going to show you how to, you can also search for more automations because what I found helpful at first when I've discovered um, make.com automation is that you can really look at other automations, other templates, and you can really learn and get creative and you learn, discover, sorry, other, other platforms. There are so many platforms literally by just even going here, sorry, here. And looking through all the apps here, I found so many things, so many new apps that I I didn't know at first. I didn't know it even existed. <laughs> so it's, it can be very, very helpful just to look. It'll probably take hours to look through all the apps here. Not just to look through all the apps, but search, you know. And also templates. You can click on here on templates, but something that's not how I'm looking for templates. What I like to do here is uh, open a new tab and right here, right, um, so here I'll write make.com automation templates. And you know, the first result here, you can click on that, not on this, on, uh, on this, not this, sorry. Where's the, where's the, that one. Okay, this one, yeah. YouTube uh, workflow automation templates for make.com. And here we can search YouTube. And then this one here I found very helpful. The beginning. Also this one. Very, very helpful. I'll explain each one. And uh, also this one. Find your YouTube videos in a channel. Summarize it with ChatGTP and email results. And this is really really great like yeah, it can really save you time because if you want to stay up to date on specific youtube channels and quickly grabs the content of their videos um, yeah this can really save you time by, by you know reading the summary of, of a video from a channel you know so very very helpful tool you can just click on this and click on that and then here we also have optimize your youtube uploads with ai generated description and text from one drive now if you click on that we this will direct us to this uh, template and we can click on create a new scenario from template or start guided uh, setup 
and this one as i said can really save you time because you can just click on here create a connection is going to tell you exactly step by step what you need to do and uh, to create a connection if you have problems so i had some problems at first with twitter i didn't know where to go but uh, just make sure you click on online help here is just going to give you a very nice step-by-step -step instruction on how to connect your YouTube channel, whatever app it is there. And then once you connect it, you kind of show you the next, the next step to connect. Now this one, this, this one. And here we can find a lot of templates. 